Paul, and it's me again, it's Gucci Man. Right, I've been promising to keep this bike for a while, and I'm going to keep it for a while longer. As you may have realised by now, I change my bikes a lot. But this one, I just can't get rid of it. Not that it won't sell, it's just, I just love riding it so much, it's so nice. Um, I bought this back in April, it's now September, it's late summer. Uh, coming into autumn um, I got to stop saying um and I've done about 1500 miles on this bike now I was going to take this bike to Scotland this year but I didn't because Suzuki let me down with the inner tubes another story however much you know moving on from that I, I had a great tour on the Anova and I bought this uh, anyway so I've been promising to do a review on it it's a 62 plate it's about four years old now I bought it uh, with about 1,500 miles on the clock and I got a good price for it. Yeah, okay, things I like about the bike. The way it rides, okay? Not everyone's choice, but I love the way it rides. Um, the seat's really comfy, really, really comfy. The tyres soak up the bumps. Nice, big, substantial suspension legs that do a, a good job too. Um, and it's squishy, it really is squishy. I mean, it's, you know, it really is quite squishy. But it's not too squishy. Um, you get enough grip out the tyres on the road. It's got a huge 180 section rear tyre. Uh, the exhaust is quiet. I quite like that. Some people don't like it, but there we go. Uh, engine's part of the frame on this one. I don't have a problem with, with stiff. I've taken it off-road. I've been green laning on it. It's brilliant. Um, yeah, it's not like an off-road dirt bike, but it gets there at a modest speed. Um, headlights brilliant 55 watt headlight yeah i know i was trying to do an led upgrade on this one if you're part of the van van forum uh didn't work went back to that one because i thought it was so good brakes brakes are brilliant they're adequate good enough lots of bite on the front works well with the front suspension it's a drum on the rear the drum is absolutely fine i mean you use the rear in slow speed anyway and to keep the, the rear end tidy when you're braking the, the, the style is not everybody's choice but I just love it it feels so good it's nice to ride I've put a heavy duty chain and sprocket kit on it I've only had to adjust that today once maybe twice at the time I've had it and no problem at all speed wise big question everyone says van vans are slow well out of the fact you they are slow it's a fact I think they're slow I'm 18 and a half stone uh, they don't pull very well that's the problem it's because they're so over geared so what I did, I fitted a rev counter so I could see how many RPMs the thing was doing at a certain speed. It was ridiculously low RPM, it was so overgeared. The Suzuki Van Van Forum again, they know all about this and the mod is, the mod is just do a smaller front sprocket, one tooth, and it sorts it all out. Pulls like a train now, even with my weight on it. And a screen will help you immensely. Uh, obviously to keep things tidy I've gone for a small one but a lot of people go for the Jivy one anyway it's a screen it works uh, I've just come down from uh, where I live near Farnborough down to Hailing Island now and taken me so long I've cruised all the way at 60 it sits at about eight eight and a half thousand rpm that's that's fine now that I've done the sprocket mod the one tooth off the front I hit the rev limiter at just under 70, 68 on the speedo of course, uh, and I did that on the way down as well. Um, yeah, it, it, it's no slower than any other 10 horsepower bike, um, to be honest with you. Uh, it, it, with this bike, the one thing you do get, you get the ultimate comfort. It's beautiful, it's so comfy, you can ride all day on this, you can tour on it, it will do it. It'll do it on road, off road. People say the tyres are skittish in the rain. I don't find that. I just look at the front tyre, look at the rear tyre and think, OK, it's a part on-road, part off-road tyre, really. It's not really anything. It's not like a slick. You know, you've got uh, a different, a, a knobbly tread, if you like. So ride it like you would a knobbly tread. Don't expect it to ride like a road bike. I've never had a problem with it. I ride it rain and shine and sun and no problem at all. Um, yeah, it's got an oil filter which is a nice thing I suppose, keep the engine good. This is a short stroke engine. If you look at 125s, they come in two, two categories. Long stroke engines where they rely on a bit more bottom end torque. You've got more power in the lower rev range. Well, you've got what they call the short stroke engine, uh, okay, which is more revvy. So you have to rev it to get it going. This is a short stroke engine. 
easiest way to look at that and find out look at the statistics for a bike look at the bore of the cylinder and look at the stroke of the cylinder going up and down if the stroke is shorter than the bore it's a short stroke yeah i'm sure you can work it out by the way if they're about similar they class it as a square block engine this is what i've learned what i've been told if it's not right don't slate me for it just put me right anyway you have to rev the hell out, I rev the hell out of it to get it going you rev it more and it's happy to do it. it it's not vibrating at all it's got fuel injection it's a lovely engine other nice thing i like about this bike um it's, it's just easy to work on everything you can do there's no big fairing to get to um you can get the exhaust off easy you can do the oil and filter change um even to do the uh the valve clearance this is quite easy it's two bolts to get the, the seat off and then another two bolts to move the tank backwards and you can get it the cap for the valve clearances it's all easy and really maintenance you know free to keep it nice i've just sprayed it with acf 50 when i first got it i've got a bit of dirt on the wheels now but that will just blow off with a bit of muck off really you know nothing nothing serious needed uh, and uh, yeah it's so easy and maintenance free to ride besides when you're learning or when you choose a bike you want to keep like i've done you want to do more riding you do maintenance really despite the fact i love to get my hands dirty um easy to adjust the chain as well no lock nuts and fiddly nuts it's just one bolt and then obviously uh, uh 60 newton meters of torque on the on the main bolt to tighten it up it's not hard uh, monoshock suspension on the rear yeah it works well i'm 18 stone my girlfriend is i don't know 9 10 stone i guess we've both been on this bike we've been down to bournemouth on it from farnborough no problem at all uh we're probably at the top end of the limit you want to carry on it then but it will go two up and it doesn't affect the performance so much to be honest with you uh what else can i say i'm trying to keep this short i don't want to bore anyone uh, the switch gear this bike's made in japan by the way it's the last 125 now made in japan in fact it's probably one of the last bikes made in japan and it shows the switch gear is lovely i mean it all it feels nice you know it just it's not tacky and plasticky it's just nice and hello all. and uh you know uh, everything about it you don't have a fuel gauge you don't need a fuel gauge your light comes on for your fuel there it comes on at about 90 200 miles you've got another 20 30 miles there you go it's, it's about the retro look the simplicity of it one less thing to go wrong uh and and it hasn't bothered me not having one to be honest this lead by the way is me i'm going to put some more lights down there with that switch there um but no uh, what else can i say about the bike if there's anything you want to know put it in the comments i'll tell you i think this one's a keeper i keep looking at sports bikes i keep looking at the vespers again i'd like another px but i just can't i just can't get rid of this bike i just i like it right to ride it so much I'm sure there's quicker 125s out there sure there's more sporty looking ones i can't find one that's built better than this i really can't i struggle to look at it and uh and i, I just I, you know everything look at this for example the clutch uh, uh i call it call that what you want but it's on the other the clutch either this little uh i can't think what the name of it is now clutch pulley or whatever you want to call it it's a nice piece of cast aluminium it's not a flat piece of pressed flat steel like on most of them everything's been thought about everything is just nice it all works it all looks nice it's all quality and that's what i like about a bike you know i really do uh, and and probably it's part of the reason i just don't want to get rid of it because i know that i'll be sorely disappointed with the else that i buy unless it's a vespa but um yeah that's about it really i'm not going to go on anymore any questions that you know by all means uh you can message me uh, or leave it in the comments and i do answer my comments um anything you want to know i've done lots of bits and bobs on this bike i've played with it a lot like i said i put the rev counter on it this down here was um it's the oil pressure port uh, but i've used it for the oil temperature port so if i jump on the bike <coughs> stand up you can see the rev counter there and there you go you can see the temperature on the rev counter the bike sits at about 85 to 100 degrees c by the way when it's running when you're riding if you're riding it hard it goes up to just over 100 normally it sits at about 85 that's in the summer obviously um what else about it what can I, I just keep telling you it's a nice place to be it's a lovely bike to ride 
wide handlebars, the brakes are positive, the levers all feel nice. Just a nice bike to ride, it really is, everything's quality. Um, I'm six foot, I'm long in the body, short in the legs, and my feet are well flat on the floor as you can see. Uh, it's so a lo such a low bike, but the tank is quite small, so, I mean look, you, you, you can see how much room you've got there. Side that it's easier. So you, you could probably be seven, seven and a half foot and you could still ride this bike. Uh, and I've seen other videos, people say, haha, the banana splits. I'm like, yeah, the banana splits, yeah, big one, haha, very funny. Well, you know what? It's the only 125 that's really made me think about it and made me think keep of it because it's just so quality and so nice to ride. So that's that. I'm cutting off now. I'm going to shut up. Any questions or comments or anything, please, by all means, feel free to leave them. And uh, that's it. Ciao for now. Out.